So, here I am in the Lake District again. <laughs> uh, it's Easter weekend. It's the Saturday of Easter weekend, and I've got to say, it's flipping freezing again. Uh, they've had a bit of snow here since I was here last weekend. Uh, up, just up on the tops, but my God, it is Baltic. Um, and why am I here? Uh, well, tomorrow I'm going to do a recce for the Lakeland 100, which is going to take me from um, Coniston, all the way up to Buttermere. That is the idea um, for tomorrow. It's quite a long way, it's about 25 miles and about two and a half thousand meters of ascent. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is this is by far the most significant hilly section of the, of the actual race itself, the Lakeland 100. Um, it, it takes in like five passes, five, it goes through five valleys, five passes. Um, so what I want to do is just get an understanding of that terrain, understand the hills, uh, understand how steep they are, how run runnable some of the, the tracks are, um, what the descents are like. So the passes for tomorrow, number one is uh, Walnuscar Road, number two is uh, just beside Hartner Fell, which takes you down into Eskdale, number three is over uh, Eskdale Moor, number four is over Blacksail Pass, and number five is Scarth Gap Pass. So I am sat on uh, Doctor's Bridge, having just arrived in Erskdale, uh, and that is, what, three and a half hours of running to get me here. Um, so by rights, on the day of the race itself, uh, it'll be coming up to, what, half nine. Uh, the twilight finishes around ten, so I should still, it should still be light. Um, on race day, so I should be able to pass through Erskdale in daylight. So just coming out of Erskdale village, uh, I've just passed Erskdale Mill, and now heading up towards um, Wasdale. So burn more time behind me. with Burnmore Lodge and then I am heading north uh, and just about to start dropping down into Wasdale. So um, I've just come out of Wasdale which is down that way and now I'm climbing to go over Blacksail Pass which is up there, an ominous pass, um, one of the steeper ones I'm doing today, in fact they've all been steep. So Blacksail Pass and then on to Garth Gap Pass and then down into Buttermere. So two more passes to go, two more steep sections, two more steep downhills. Thighs are killing me, uh, but let's grind it out. Let's get it done. It's been a good recce so far. I'm going to get on with it. Okay, so I've just come down, uh, I've just come up Blacksail Pass, uh, and that, I don't mind saying, that was a bit brutal. Um, very steep, very steep, uh, and now we've got a very sharp down um, to get back into Button here. Oh, with one more pass to go. So all in all, this first section of the Lakeland 100 is a bit spicy, um, not hugely runnable, but enjoyable, I mean it's nice, it's lovely, lovely scenery, but just not very runnable. And you want to be even attempting to run these hills, really, because you're just going to kill yourself for the next part of the race. Anyway, onwards. Uh, right, where are we? I have just come off, um, uh, where have I just come off? Scarth, Scarth Gap Pass, uh, down into Buttermere. Buttermere is here, looking absolutely gorgeous as always. Come rain or shine, Buttermere is one of the nicest places in the Lake District. Um, 
Yeah, so I've just come down from, I've just come down from that way, uh, which is actually a really enjoyable downhill run. It's quite, um, it's quite technical. It's, it's very loose rock, uh, boulders sticking out the path, that sort of thing. Um, but really, really good fun. Uh, so you can speed down there, and then there's a lovely, I don't know, hard packed um, cycle track here along this side of the lake down into Buttermere, which is my next stop back to the car. Excellent, so that is the first part of the Lake 100 uh, recce done for me. Uh, that was Coniston up to Buttermere, which is where I am now. And I am knackered. That has taken me a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Um, uh, I think it's taken me about six, six and a half, six hours, 50 minutes or something like that, maybe even seven hours. Um, I mean, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't racing along, but I was taking my time, just taking it easy, but it still, it, it took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Uh, it's about 20, I think it's about 26, 27 miles, something like that, um, and about 2,500 metres of ascent and descent, um, which, yeah, and you can tell, I mean, my God, it's um, it really is up and down. It takes in uh, five different valleys. So therefore, five different passes. Um, yeah, and you really know about it. Uh, the biggest two there, um, in terms of steepness, uh, that just seem to go on forever, are the Black Sail Pass. So uh, before you get to, um, was it Haystacks, the YHA down there, Black Sail, YHA, it's that pass there that kind of gets you up out of uh, Wasdale and then up, up to... Uh, Black Sail Pass and then down to the YHA that is seriously um, brutal on the old legs that is and then you come off that one and then you're faced with another it, it's it's smaller because it's not from um, so far down it's not from sea level um, you go up onto Scarf Scarf Gap Pass uh, which that's the one that takes you up onto um uh, the, the well, yeah, the pass before you then come down back down into Buttermere. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, all in all, a lot longer, uh, a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. But it was good to get that recce done, uh, not necessarily because of the navigation. Um, I'm kind of okay with the navigation on there. There was a, there was a couple of little sketchy bits coming into uh, Erskdale, um, and especially as soon as I'm going to be doing that bit at dusk or at night. Um, that was good to kind of just work that bit out but other than that the navigation is absolutely fine i think for me it was the just understanding the terrain uh, and just standing just how up and down it actually is um along that 25 miles 26 miles into buttermere um because that will allow me to just manage the race a bit i think uh, i'm certainly not going to go full on uh, over those 25 miles because i'll just end up killing myself for the rest of the race so I think the, the game plan will be to take that section nice and easy. I mean, there's, and there's plenty, of, um, there's plenty of food stops as well. Pretty much every village that we go through, Seathway, Eskdale, Wasdale, um, and then obviously in Buttermere, there is, uh, there's a feed station. So you, you're going to be well fed, or we're going to be well fed. But um, yeah, I think just in terms of race management, I'm just going to take that nice and steady because that is going to make or break a lot of people's races, I think, that section there. Uh, but it was good. Uh, glad to get it out of the way. Glad to get it done in the bag. Uh, that's a long training run. But um, first part of Lakeland 100 done.